Hello, I'm Penny Eccles. Welcome to today's leadership tip. And today I'll be talking a little bit about work-life balance. And as is usually the case, I think the only time we can talk about how it goes well for us is when we can share stories of when it went really badly. This is a story of me being a parent and how work-life balance just did not become a balance anymore. But I'm sure this can be um, um, used for people who are not parents as well. So this isn't necessarily a mummy or a daddy story. Um, it started when I got a really big new job. It was the job of my dreams. Um, I had to move cities for it with my two children. I was a single parent, but it was just too good an opportunity to miss. So I, I thought I would need to do the adult thing and accept that I wasn't Wonder Woman and I should probably get in some living help to um, help to take care of my children and to do the role to make sure that I wasn't just totally stressed out the whole time. So I employed a, a lovely um, au pair who was just amazing and, and so wonderful and I couldn't have done my role without it. But as the time went on, my workload got more and more heavy and I started being invited to evening functions as well, uh, where I would be there to represent my organisation, um, which I enjoyed doing. But again, it meant that the time that I had uh, to be me in my life was becoming more and more limited. I didn't realise how limited it had become until one particular Saturday, uh, I uh, wasn't working, I was uh, in my dining room with my two children and it was a sunny day and a bright ray of sunshine fell on my little boy's face. Uh, he was five or six at the time and as this ray of sunshine landed on his face, I looked at him really carefully and realised that he had a face full of freckles, which I had never noticed before. And I thought, how long has he had freckles? And I hadn't even noticed. And then I started to think, how long is it really since you looked at your children? Not just glanced, but really looked at them and really listened to them. And I'm, I hate to admit this, but it had been quite some time, six plus months. I dedicated all of my time to my job. Uh, and just that little incident of the ray of sunshine on my son's face made me realise that it had to change. Um, I had never been able to drop my children off in the morning or pick them up. I'd missed every single sports day, every single performance, every single merit certificate assembly. And I just realized that in order for me to fully enjoy my job again, I needed to fully enjoy my life. So I did a few things that I always had within my sphere of control. I just never used them, perhaps because I thought it wasn't legitimate. You know, my needs were not legitimate. The needs of my team and my workplace were more important than what I needed to function properly. So I would arrive at work uh, on time, but I would spend an hour every morning getting myself together whether that meant checking work emails, it might have meant doing personal things like arranging dentist appointments, whatever it was that would make my life or my day easier and more palatable. Um, and if I had spent that precious hour doing that precious planning, my whole day would go much better. I booked an appointment with my manager and I tried to explain the situation that I was in. Uh, but in the end, I insisted that at least one day a week, I would be leaving work at 2.30 to pick up my children one day a week from school. He knew I would put in the hours necessary. Um, that, that was not an issue. And to my surprise, he didn't argue back with me, um, which made me think, I've been carrying on for this amount of time and 
possibly the only person to blame was myself. I know that's not the case for everybody, but I'd love it if you could reflect after watching this video on the things that you do have control over. What can you do in your working life and in your life life that makes things a bit easier for you? You are a legitimate character in your own life. Please try and achieve that work-life balance. We only get one life and it will make you a much better, much happier, much more rounded person.